Well, as we gear up for Reddit's IPO, we want to take a trip down memory lane at past social media public debuts. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery joins us with that breakdown. A been a minute since we've had a pure play social media company here. Yes, it has. And check out this leaderboard. Who's at the very top there? It's not Meta. It's Facebook way back in the day, listing on May 18th, 2012. That was a horrendous uh, black eye for the NASDAQ marketplace because the IPO did not go as planned. Lots of hiccups. And in fact, the company was called Face Plant because of that disastrous IPO for a brief time back in 2012, but investors uh, hopefully forget these things. Now, Snap is another large one. Uh, that's another one that came to market in 2017. Compared to Facebook, it was quite a bit smaller. Facebook raised 16 billion or sold 16 billion. Snap only sold about 4 billion. And by the way, these are not the valuation numbers, just how much they sold. Uh, but then you go down the list and the other players admittedly quite a bit smaller here. And we didn't even put all of them on the screen, but for what it's worth, Bumble coming to market in February of 2021 and Pinterest in 2019 before the uh, pandemic took hold. But I thought it'd be interesting to chart some of the price action here and just to go back to some of the key features of the offering. Uh, one of the last thing that Ines said was very key here that there's a bunch of shares that have been um, allocated to users here, potential Redditors, 1.76 million of those shares that could come into the market and be sold at any time. They would not be subject to a lockup agreement. So as an S said, uh, could provide some extra volatility. But I thought it'd be interesting. You know, you take a look at the biggest, at the biggest name here. Here is Meta. Let's go to a max chart. Let's not forget, and you can't even see it here, but the stock was down 60% in the months after its IPO, and it took a year for it to get back in the green above that initial price. There's never a hurry to get into these IPOs. Indeed. Appreciate you breaking that down for us, our very own Jared Blickery.